Hello friends, today I have come with a new uh, new topic that is on vaccine and vaccine is very important if we talk about uh, to any exam or any uh, uh, theory question also in the vivas. So this is being asked and this is very important vaccine as it is being included in the national immunization schedule. So let's start with this vaccine that is the hepatitis B vaccine. Now, this hepatitis B vaccine is being given in two uh, methods that is one is the active immunization and another is the passive immunization. Now, if we talk about active immunization, that means uh, some antigen is being inserted in your body either by uh, parental route or by orally and that antigen when enters your uh, body, so your immune system get activated and that will result in the formation of antibodies. Uh, the main problem with the active immunization is that that you have it takes time. So where once you introduce it takes time. So it will take time to prepare the antibodies and advantage with this is that the memory cells are there. So they will learn and next time when uh, this infection comes in your body. So your body is prepared and with a very good response that is you also know that is a secondary immune response is much better as compared to the primary immune response so that uh, response we follow we uh, get in the active immunization also so this hepatitis b vaccine when we talk about active immunization so it is has been prepared by recombinant technology and uh, it is a recombinant subunit vaccine and this hbs antigen so uh, what antigen they have taken that is the surface antigen that is the HBS antigen has been used and it has been introduced into the Baker's yeast. So how this gene has been added into this Baker's yeast that is a recombinant technology and that is known as DNA recombinant technology because it is being inserted in the, this virus itself is a DNA virus. So that is cloning the S gene into the yeast chromosome. Now uh, after this vaccine has been, uh, what are the route for this vaccine, how it is being given? So that is by intramuscular route and it is being given in the deltoid region in the adults. When we talk about the children, uh, that is an infant, so uh, in them we have to give in the anterolateral aspect of thigh. Now what is the dosing schedule for this vaccine? That is a zero one month and six months like uh, today you have taken a vaccine so this is the zero dose one month later you have to take the next vaccine uh, next dose and the third is dose is given after the six months so that is the schedule followed usually followed but in case of the infants or in the children usually we go for the that is in the national immunization schedule because we we don't want to prick the child again and again so better to combine this vaccine uh, with some other schedule that is like in case of the dip, uh, for like uh, we give DPT vaccine that is the diphtheria pertussis tetanus toxoid that is a combined vaccine. So along with that when the child will come for the immunization for DPT vaccine you can simultaneously give uh, this vaccine also at another site. So uh, there is no effect of any vaccine on the other vaccine so you can easily give the hepatitis B with this schedule that is the 6 weeks, 10 weeks or 14 weeks. So 3 doses are needed and the gap between the 2 doses minimum it should be 4 weeks. So 6 weeks, 10 weeks and 14 weeks uh, from the birth. So that is the uh, use protocol for the infants. Now what is important that is the in those areas where there is a prevalence of hepatitis B virus, that means uh, when the prevalence of hepatitis B virus infection is more than 8%, so that is being seen in the African countries where uh, the prevalence rate is very high. So at those area only, it is being recommended that one additional dose should be given for the, so um, beside giving these three doses, one dose extra is being given in those areas. So now the passive immunization. So what is passive immunization? That means uh, uh, the antibodies has already been, already been prepared and when you need immediately you can provide those antibodies and 
you can counter that effect immediately. So that is in case of the emergency where you need this passive immunization. So they are the ready to use antibodies or you can say they are the immunoglobulins. So what is the indication for this passive immunization? So uh, they are costly. So only in the case where we need urgently in the emergency situation, we will go for this passive immunization. So indication is acutely exposed to any HBS antigen positive person or a person has come in sexually contact with the hepatitis B positive person or when there is a, new, a neonate born to the hepatitis B carrier mother or post liver transplantation. So following the accidental exposure, what is the guideline where you at what time the immunoglobulin should be transfused to the person that is within the six hours. So within the six hours, there will be maximum efficacy, maximum effect of these immunoglobulins. But after 48 hours, it is of no use. So it is being said within six hours, maximum effect and maximum you can give up to 48 hours. Recommended dose is 0 0.05 to 0 0.07 ml per kg. Two doses being given 30 days apart. Now comes the combined immunization. So combined immunization means where you need both the vaccination that is the active and the passive. So what are those conditions when the neonates are born to the hepatitis B positive infected mothers. So there we need both. That is it is being advised to give first the immunoglobulin immediately after the birth. What is the dose? That is a 0.5 ml is being given immediately after birth. And then within 12 hours, you will start the vaccination. So usually in child, we are advising for 6, 10, uh, six weeks, 10 weeks and 14 weeks. But if the mother is carrier or being infected, at that time we are saying you start vaccine within the 12 hours of birth. So that's all for this vaccine. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. If you like this video, please uh, give a thumbs up to this and please share with the other students so that they will also get this knowledge and uh, a big thank you for paying attention. Thank you.